<clears throat> all right we have now reached tribulation day 115 the world continues to spiral downwards into chaos this morning the stock markets are dropping another several hundred points we're on the verge of a global economic collapse across this great country of ours we're just seeing one disaster after another from flooding and hurricanes all of Texas is on fire and you know the worst is probably yet to come because by all reasonable analysis you know I read this uh, this one scientist's paper where he's talking about planetary alignments and their correlation to earthquakes and you know er the data looks good so you know with this comet Elenin and you know if, it, if there could be a cover up here but Nibiru the dwarf star whatever it is coming on through all data points to massive earthquakes and tsunami in the next month what we don't know is exactly when or where, but I'll just put it this way. If you've watched the movie 2012, you know, we're talking about, you know, the coast of uh, California dropping into the ocean. So, you know, I'm, I'm going to tell you, everybody, prepare. Now, me, just so you know, I'm going about my life, living large. You know, time is short. Every moment is precious at this time. You know, time itself is accelerating at an incredible rate. Now, me and my brother, we normally go up to Reno several times as the football season kicks in. But this time around, I've kind of arranged my schedule to be up in Reno for week three, which is the final weekend of the month, which also just so happens to be, you know, one of the uh, critical dates, you know, the 26th, 27th, and 28th, when the comet Elenin will be between us and the sun, and there'll be this planetary alignment, and there's just a high, high probability of like a 9.0, 12.0 type earthquake, and you know what, I'm just, I'm following my heart, I feel like God's talking to me, so I'm planning on being in Reno on the other side of the San Andreas fault line, <laughs> just in case something crazy happens and you know I watched this one video <clears throat> the scientist talking about it a NASA scientist where he's saying the magnetism from the flyby of this <clears throat> Sun so it's only gonna take 30 minutes but according to him he's saying it's gonna wipe all of our minds clean you know if, just because the the magnetism is so powerful and that's why we're gonna have a pole shift where our earth the North Pole aligns with the star as it flies by and then you know maybe we flip back over I don't know but it just seems like it's really dark days and, and it's all about how do we survive this and you know we all saw the tsunami in Japan and I got a feeling the tsunamis that might be created off of this are gonna make what happened in Japan look like you know like it was nothing so you know, a lot of a lot of Christians out there are counting on a rapture, and you know what? I'm not really going to argue it. I'm just going to tell you I don't personally believe in it so much. But if it happens, that'd be great because you know what? Jesus is my savior, so you know the rapture is not something I fear. But that being said, uh, I think that there's going to be a mission for us after the end of the month after September 29th and uh, you know as far as survival you know you do what you can you make your preparations uh, I'm not worried about getting into some kind of underground bunker I think people that are doing that are making a big mistake and uh, you know where this one scientist is saying our minds will be swept clean where we'll, as soon as the event passes, we're going to be standing there with no memory whatsoever of anything. I'm going to take a slightly different tack because, you know, nobody knows everything. And, and what if, you know, our brains, you know, from the last cycle, our brains have been operating at a fraction of their potential. 
So what if, you know, in the moment of that flyby, as all the powers of the solar system and the heavens are shaken, that something happens to us, and maybe it happens to everybody, maybe it only happens to those that are ready and that can handle it, but what if, you know, all of a sudden our brains shift into high gear, and, uh, you know, what if, you know, we can literally levitate ourselves right off of the ground and as harm's way, as, as harm comes towards us, you can save yourself. You know, God will give us the power <laughs> to, to rise above the storm. You know, Jesus did it. It was right there in the Bible. He walked on the waters. And he said, you know, if you have faith in me, you can do anything. Believe it. Anyway, you know, I've been monitoring the earthquakes. It definitely looks like we've been having an uptick ever since the beginning of September. It's been three or four straight days of redliners on the USGS uh, earthquake report. Redliners are earthquakes that are above 6.0. So far uh, today, there hasn't been any redliners. You know, even if there isn't a redliner today, you know, I'm, I'm just going to keep monitoring that report every single day. You know, because I think it's our best indicator of the, of the legitimacy of what is maybe to come, which is a once-in-a-lifetime event. You know, the star alignment on the 29th, you know, fulfills the prophecy of Revelations 12, of uh, the woman with the sun adorning her garments, and uh, the crown on her head, and the moon at her feet, and uh, giving birth, because Venus and Saturn is, are in her womb. And, uh, you know, I'll say this much. I watched a Hopi uh, prophecy video where the, the Indian chief said, it's an honor to be alive in the final days. And you know what? I, I share that, that, that thought. So, you know, rather than being fearful, you know, we should be thankful. Because something uh, <clears throat> great and special is about to happen. Around the rest of the world, you know, it's just a mess. You know, the Middle East is just crazy. Gaddafi's still running around. Syria, it's like they're just running around killing everybody in the streets. And, of course, you know, the Palestine-Israeli situation, you know, it looks like they're on the brink of war. Iran sending submarines to the Red Sea. Egypt is kind of joining the fray, firing rockets at Israel, and you know they're planning some kind of mobilization, you know, around the 20th, the vote of the UN. And, you know, a buddy of mine, we were talking last night, kind of looking at Revelations, and, uh, you know, he was saying that the, the dragon with the seven heads, you know, that's the UN, the new world order that's going to rise up out of this as this vote's taken. Makes sense. But uh, I don't know. I just, to me, I, I feel it in the air. You know, last night I went, went and took a walk at about 10 o'clock at night. And, man, I, I couldn't believe the, the, the skies were just crystal clear. You know, i never seen them so clear. And the stars just shone. And, you know, something, you know, just everything in me is saying, man, there's something to what's happening. And... You know, people to me, we all seem to be in a real funky mode, you know, as I went shopping and went about my business. It just seems like there's a heavy heart. You know, people, you know, they're not smiling as much as they should be. You know, it's a darkness. But, uh, you know, I hooked up with some friends and, you know, a person that's very special to me. You know, she was just walking around with us, that, you know, <clears throat> over Labor Day weekend, you know, just saying God bless to everybody. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, it was kind of like a, you know, like a light. People were, you know, lighting up. You know, maybe nothing's going to happen. Maybe everything. <sighs> it's emotional. But you know, we will have, we will be given strength and fortitude 
encourage. Get yourself right. Get your mind focused on what's important. Get yourself spiritually set. Make sure that you, for, you know, have forgiveness in your heart so that you're ready to receive forgiveness. It's already been bought and paid for. But you know, we could be reaching the point where we got to stand up and earn it. All right, man. I'm going to go get my tribulation on. Peace be with everybody. God bless you all.